Greetings, and welcome back to Civilization 5 First Steps. Last time we played Indonesia uh, with a tradition policy. This time we're playing Gandhi as India, India as Gandhi. Um, the version 12, I think, I'm not sure if version 11 or 12 changed uh, India. Now its unique bonus is only 25% less unhappiness for every citizen instead of the 50% it was before and it doesn't get the double unhappiness from number of cities. This means you can expand faster in the beginning of the game, but you might need some extra happiness in the late game, even though it seems like you would. I kind of doubt it. I mean, it's already pretty strong. Uh, it, it, it needs no production or growth, it just works. Every four citizens you gain one happiness. Uh, very, very strong. Now, uh, India has a unique uh, unit, that is the War Elephant, and it is a ranged unit. It's not a crossbowman, but it is a ranged unit, so that means you can have both crossbowmen and War Elephants uh, working together. Pretty strong, it replaces a melee unit, an otherwise melee unit. Uh, this is why it's strong in my opinion. It gives you more versatile options for ranged attacks, and then they have a replacement for the fort that gives extra culture, for that I'm sure, and I don't remember if it gives extra... Uh, hit points or defense. Greetings, President we'll see now. Great leader of India. You are the now, last time we played tradition, so yeah, seems like it gives more defense. It gives one defense per citizen in the city. This is a lot of defense, and it gives one tourism. Last time we played. Oh God! Now, I, now I want to plant there instead of here. If I plant here, I grow in one turn earlier than planting here, and I lose one turn. And then what do I get? I get one food instead of one production. Now planting at this spot. Normally, if there wasn't a river here, I would plant here. If uh, both of these tiles were the same turn plant, I would plant here to get three food from this tile because we're planting on flat terrain and we're playing the NP mode and then 3 foot from this time too I'm planting on the mountain, on the hill I don't want to move because I don't want to lose uh, time Now this I remember, there's a specific way to do this Okay, let me think about it Now this is plus 3 plus 3, it's 6, then 2 turns of this, 2 turns of this and we can get a 3 turn scout. Okay, let's go there. Um, we don't have a very good starting position because we have a lot of jungle. But we have some, some good economic tiles. Now, are we doing a scout actually? What if I go for Monument Worker? I don't like it. I never like going Monument Worker. If we go Monument Worker, we can be like this. Or go Production Focus, right? This will get us this. Monument Worker gives us Fast Piety. Fast Piety gives us Fast Faith. Uh, this is a 5 turn monument, so we're gonna get plus 4. And then we're missing 11 for a turn less extra. Uh, we're going for pottery. Monument worker. What am I going to do with my worker? Cut this forest. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably doing that. Let's see if we get scouts later on. Uh, you're losing a lot of uh, a lot of ruins this way. This was the superior tile. If I could move there, I could then go one two, one two, or one two, which I can from here too. Anyways, so this is just uh, strictly superior to this one. 
And of course we're seeing two there, and if I went there, there might be a ruin there that I could see, but I don't see now. But if I go here, there's a ruin here that I don't see if I go there. So it was equivalent in that respect. This is lake. Pretty nice. Lake is strong for tradition starts. One, two, three, four. Tradition, I mean uh, tall starts. We might be playing tall, I'm not sure yet. If we're playing tall or wide. Well, going piety, you want to be playing tall. But if you're India, you want to be playing wide. And if you're piety India... Okay, I prefer buying this style. But buying this style gives me better immediate benefit. Which is I get two production next turn that I grow. Instead of one production from this style. But then again, I won't be working... Uh, this style in the future. It's just for the next turn. Okay, so we're working with this one now. And I would prefer working with that one instead of this one. Hmm. Okay. We are too pop. Now if I was here, I would have one more food and one less production. Hmm. Yeah, I think we made the correct choice. Still. Yeah, we're getting more of the river if we're here too. Hey, another ruin. We're lucky. Now, should I go for a worker? Or should I go for a scout? What difference is a worker going to make? We're gonna go for... pottery And then mining. When the worker is done, we will be able to chop this. We want to get... Stone hands. No, we want this stone hands. So we can get this one and then this one. I think we're doing a worker. Five turns, five turns. Nice. 90 gold means we can buy a scout. I'm not even thinking about this. Uh, this is 2 turns instead of 3, because we're getting 4 food. Instead of 3, we're getting 1 gold extra. Um, we're losing 1 production from 1 turn, but we're gaining 1 production 1 turn earlier when we work this tile on turn 8 instead of turn 9. Now we can scout our land better. Which is good. Normally buying a worker is more efficient than constructing one, if I remember correctly. Now this is 16 production, costs 100 gold, which means 170 gold. Yeah, as you can see this should cost 200. Uh, by the same standard that the scout costs 100, the worker should cost 200. But the worker is the most efficient, um, people have done the math already. I have done them too, if you trust me instead of people. Um, nice. Okay. We said buy it. We can go to addition too. We already built the monument though. Let's go buy it. Buy it is good. <clears throat> Cannot get this any faster. We are exactly at uh, two turns here. If I could get this a bit faster, I would be working this one for this turn instead of this one. But now this one is, is good enough. And then we're going for shrine to granary so we can do a faster um, Stonehenge. Stonehenge is the sole reason we're doing this build. This build is the standard piety build. In case anyone's wondering, this is how you play standard piety. I've played it a lot of times, it works, I don't like doing it, because you're not getting a scout. And I bought the scout because I was lucky with that ruin. And normally I wouldn't have gotten this ruin. This ruin I got due to that ruin, somewhere here, where was it? That got me 90 gold and the city state. But yeah, you're, most of the time you're expecting 100 gold from, uh, from encounters like this. Now... I have uh, two choices here. 
can't clear the jungle. I should research that at some point though. I would want to be working this one when uh, the city grows. Okay, so this is obviously the movement we're getting this turn. Okay, 30, that's nice. Um, you can buy this one. This doesn't give us an immediate benefit, but city is probably never going to grow to this one, and I want it. Now, this is 14 away, so we can work this for two turns to get a uh, two-turn shrine. Uh, you see the difference here. Is This is 14 production. We have uh, piety. We can double the production. Even if it wasn't at this point, if you're 12 production, which makes no fucking sense with these tiles, you're never 12 production. But yeah, if you were, you still want to go 13 production for two turns. Now this is going to, to get us to population 14, which is exactly 8 away from, from progress 22. So this means it still stays 4 turns. So at turn 14, we are going to have 4 citizens, if no barbarian attacks, attacks us. And we're getting the shrine one turn earlier. Now there's no point in chopping for that shrine. I will chop for the stone hands. Here was Adolphus. I'll go there. Again, this style was almost the same, in my opinion, with this style. I went here to discover the coast, in case there's a natural wonder there. Uh, if I went here, I would discover one less tile. And if there was a mountain here, and then here was the rock of Gibraltar, for instance, I wouldn't get the happiness from the wonder. That's why I chose that tile. Now we did the shrine, you have to not forget this, because if you forget them, all, the, all your min-maxing goes to waste. Okay. Good. Happiness and a ruin. Oh, there's another guy here, the Maya. So yeah, this spearman is wasted, he can't find any more ruins. In a normal multiplayer game, at this point, you have to assume everything is explored. So, yeah, this is the last one we're getting. Might be that in a multiplayer game this would be already explored because when someone sees desert, they imagine Petra, and when they imagine Petra, you know, you know what happens with Petra. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, is a granary a good choice? Is there a an argument to be made for a warrior here? Granary will give us just two food, nothing else. When we grow to that bananas, it will give us plus one, so it's gonna, it's gonna be three food. Well, I want the granary. I want this Petra City too, and this Petra City too. Probably can't reach this fast enough. And we are going to grow to that. Oh, it became an archer. So yeah, this style to this style is exactly the same, makes no difference at all. Now, what are we doing here? I mean, these two are the important ones. This one gives us plus one culture. We can go tradition now. We got the... By the opener. Hmm. I'm thinking about going tradition now. What are the benefits? An amphitheater and three monuments. Some food. A bit of culture. I will finish by it first. I will prefer culture to 20% discount, because we're not gonna get faith before we get the third tenant. So I'll prefer the plus one culture for now. Just going to grow that one. So 10, 10, 14, we're going to be um, this many citizens, and we are going there. 
Yeah, sure. Embassy. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's be working this one. Now this one... 32. So we can... Uh, actually... We can work this style for one turn. We shouldn't work this style for this one turn though. We can work it for one turn that uh, the mine is going to be constructed. Okay, 30 gold extra. Pretty nice. Can I do something with my 60 something gold? Hmm. I don't want any of these tiles. I'll just wait. 